Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Roan. Tributes are pouring in for legendary British broadcaster Sir Michael Parkinson following his death. Sir Michael died at home surrounded by family after a brief illness. His career spanned seven decades, during which he interviewed some of the world's biggest stars, including our own Shane Warne. Team psychiatrist Sandy Gordon, interesting quote this. He said, like most famous people, he's one of the loneliest people on the planet. Got no real friends. That's totally incorrect. I'm very lucky that I've got, I can count someone, probably two or three people that are my close friends and I think that's what life's about, friendships and family. Elton John, David Beckham and Stephen Fry are among those to take to social media to pay their respects to the 88-year-old. The Matildas have done it again. Their semi-final loss to England, smashing viewing records with a national audience of over 7.1 million viewers. It makes it the most watched TV program since Cathy Freeman's legendary win at the 2000 Olympics. Anthony Albanese has piled pressure on the crossbenchers to support the Housing Australia Future Fund. The Greens are holding the $10 billion scheme up in the Senate, claiming it doesn't go far enough. But the PM has told the ABC it is essential legislation. And I say to the crossbenchers, including the Greens party, you can't say you support more public housing and then continue to vote against it. The Senate should vote for it. They should vote for it when it next sits. A plane crash in Malaysia has left 10 people dead. A private jet crashed as it attempted to land on a highway to the west of the capital. The cause is yet to be determined. And US President Joe Biden says the federal government is sending hundreds of emergency personnel and thousands of meals and supplies to the fire-devastated island of Maui. The death toll has climbed to 111, while close to 1,000 people are still missing. Sport and entertainment's up next. The Sharks have kept their top four hopes alive with a win over the Cowboys to kick off round 25 of the NRL. Cronulla taking the match 32 points to 12. Lions coach Chris Fagan says he's expecting a tough match against the Pies tonight despite Collingwood going into the game without a few stars. What I find at this time of the year is you've always got hungry blokes in the reserves who want an opportunity so uh, uh, they generally come in and play their roles really well. So uh, our, our expectation is that we're going to play the play a Collingwood team that's going to bring out their very best effort. In entertainment news, and Drake has left one fan speechless after gifting her a designer bag at his LA show. The rapper handing over a pink Birkin, it retails for well over five figures. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.